Neil Carlson here in Grand Forks at uh, WDAZ Television on South Washington Street where it's been announced that on December 21st that will be their last news broadcast out of Grand Forks. Everything will be um, merged down into WDAY in Fargo. Sad day for the uh, staff that worked here. Uh, I thought I'd give you a bit of history about this place uh, since I worked here for five years back in 1980. I started there at DAZ when I was going to school at the University of North Dakota. At the time, their studio was downtown in what is now the U.S. Bank building. Um, at the time, uh, Chuck Bundley, this guy, he was the anchor, kind of an unflappable guy. He had been there almost since the uh, station started, I believe, in uh, January of 1967. A little story about Chuck, how unflappable he was. He's since passed away. But uh, at one point in the early 80s, we had a plane explode and catch on fire at the Grand Forks Air Force Base. And we learned much later that there was actually a nuke aboard that plane and there was talk of evacuating <laughs> Greater Grand Forks. But at the time, Chuck was... I, I, I shot the video of that uh, incident. At the time, Chuck was, well, suppose we better get out there and take some pictures. <laughs> Well, he was a nice guy to work with. And also at the time, uh, sports guy was uh, Dale McCabe out of Valley City, the hard-driving voice of Dale McCabe, who has also since passed on. And doing the weather was the uh, famous Dewey Burquist. Uh, but that won't affect us. But that is developing into a storm system. In case your grandmother's down there, you may go on to know that she's going to be in a storm of some sort. You're not of a certain age, you probably don't remember him. But if you had extra time at the end of a uh, weather cast, he'd have a stare down at the camera. <laughs> One interesting story about uh, Dewey Burquist that was uh, in the early 80s, maybe 83, uh, WDAZ, and at the time it was KTHI switch networks. Um, WDAZ went from uh, NBC to ABC. And there was kind of a big party out at the Westward Ho, and they brought in a TV star. I believe it was Heather Locklear. I think I had a picture with standing with her at one point. <laughs> but anyway, there was also a line to get your picture taken with uh, Dewey Burquist, the weather guy, or Heather Locklear. Guess who had the longest line? Dewey Burquist, the famous weather guy. So a bit of an era, end of an era coming up here in Grand Forks. Things are changing as they always do. And as one thing disappears, there's always something new. In Grand Forks, I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.